All right, well, let's go over some of my packages. If you're looking for a basic single wing ring man, that's why I'm your best man. I attend your wedding for the full day. Okay. If you need something a little more involved where I participate in all the festivities for the weekend, then you're talking about a bronze bow tie. Now, if you got real problems, what you need is a silver cuff link. Now, that includes everything in the bronze bow tie, plus an additional three groomsmen to balance out the bridesmaids. And for an extra thousand dollars, I throw your bachelor party to your liking. How you looking on groomsmen? Not good at all. Not good as in you need one or, or two? I, I need seven. You need seven, seven groomsmen? I do. You have any idea what you're asking for? Guys, we're sorry, talking about wedding ringer. How's it going? How are you both? How am I? Well, Tom, I'm doing I'm tired. Not too good, Tom. I'm tired of uh, Kevin. I flew. I've been on a plane for 15 hours. Landed. You want to be honest with you? My back hurts. <laughs> Don't know what we're going to do about it. Kevin's what you call very difficult, Tom. Tom, I got a groin situation. <laughs> uh, I worked out. Went and caught myself doing some lunges. I think I did a little too far on one leg. So, <laughs> you asked, I told you. Kevin, uh, uh, Tom. I don't a lot know why of toe jam you situation. Can. You know what toe jam is? Dude. Well, it's a buildup on my left foot of athlete's foot. Could be, couldn't be. I don't know. My socks come off this one foot smelling. I said, there it is. You were doing a great job of selling our film right now. Well, you, he I mean, asked, how am I? He didn't ask anything about the movie. He said, how am I? All right. Okay, Tom. So tell me about the wedding ring. What kind of film was it to make? Was it a fun set? Well, it was really uh, it was great because I didn't have athlete's foot. Oh, <laughs> again with the athletes. I didn't have I didn't have a groin situation. Tom, it was a, it was a, an amazingly fun movie to make. Kevin, uh, when he's not an idiot, is actually a fine performer. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and here we go with well, that. Actually, here we go with the actually. Again. Actually, he's, he's a very actually pleasant a fine person. Performer. He's actually a very pleasant person once you get to know him. I know he's obnoxious when you first meet him, Tom. But when you get to know him, Tom like I have, Tom doesn't think I'm obnoxious. When you get to know him, like I have, and you forgive the athlete's foot, he's a good guy. Here, in Tom, his heart. you know what? Josh Gad is actually a good reader. How did that sound to you? Did that sound right? Yeah. That sounded like a compliment to you. Absolutely. He's actually a good reader. I really read. That him sounds well. like looking at you. I wouldn't think that you would be able to read. And then I said, actually, you know what? I <laughs> took it as a, I still took it as a compliment. It's not good. I misread it. It's not good. You guys been drinking tonight? some pretty high profile stunts in the movie lots mm -hmm. of lots of fun car chases and mm -hmm. people around what were those like to make I did all my own did you no he did not I did do <laughs> Kevin did pretty much didn't do a single stunt are you serious so I didn't drive the car that's not a that's not a stunt what driving the car was not a stunt when we were swerving in and out, in and out of traffic I didn't drive the car you did that yes that's impressive all right what about when we had to pull off and the guy was coming and the guy had to jump back was that me in the car Good job. Okay, those are called stunts, are not? I did none of my own stunts. <laughs> I uh, I had what you call a stunt man. <laughs> uh, do mine because I I like my body and preserving it. What else did I do? No, no, you did that stunt when you ate the food. Remember, it's like, <laughs> hey, like, hey, in this the scene, Doug has got to eat. He's like, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> You get to wear some pretty pretty cool suits and some pretty other great outfits in the film. Which yes. was which? What was your favorite thing? To, what was your favorite thing to dress up in? What was your favorite outfit? Man, I took the uh, army. You chaplain. had some really cool. Army I didn't chaplain. have any cool outfits. You had some great outfits. Army chaplain's the best. Uh, your football outfit was funny though. My football outfit is pretty great. And then the glasses. The, the Dougie shirts are pretty great. Yes. yes. Yeah, you know what? That's a good scene for you, too. You walk in the night eating ice cream with Dougie shirt on. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's funny. I will go but the that. chaplain out, the uh, the army chaplain It's out, the reveal. It's, cause you don't see gets it in a the huge car. laugh every time, yeah. yeah. Hey, Dad. Don't ever call me Dad. So, we were thinking maybe the field's a little too muddy today. You sound like my daughter. It doesn't get any better than this, boy. Come on, pussies. Okay. Right, yeah, right, yeah. No, no, sounds good. Playing these old Listen, these old let's just man. keep it fun, fellas. All right? Go out here, amuse these old geezers. Ain't no need to rub it in their faces. We don't want to see any coordinaries. You boys look a little soft. That dude look familiar. These guys. You ain't the hand going both ways? I heard Doug enjoys that. <laughs> what? <laughs> How much um, of your own experience with weddings were you able to bring into the film? I mean, have you ever been to a wedding that's quite as spectacular as some of the ones that 
You know, I've been to like, weddings that have been a t- a tad disastrous, um, and I've been to some great weddings. I've never been to a wedding that revolved, I, at least I hope not, that revolved around a lie, the likes of Wedding Ringer. I don't think you understood this question. I did understand no, this question. No, you didn't understand. Uh, well, what experience did you bring from your okay, wedding? Okay, so tell me, was that an experience right now that you just answered? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Some of those experiences <laughs> I brought to set, uh, I carried them with me. I, I couldn't bring any of my experiences to my character because my character was a guy who was basically bringing a lie to life. Uh, unfortunately, I've been to weddings as an honest person, as a friend, as a loved one. So I, I wasn't able to. That's called comprehending a question and answering it, Josh. You're the one who called me a great reader. No, Looks like I've I misread actually, every situation. I said, actually, you're a great reader. What is going on with you? I, uh, I, um, I gotta be honest with you guys. Oh, I, uh, oh! What the? Grandma made a full recovery. That's hey, look great. Yeah. yeah.